Did you know that Latinos make up 19% of the U.S. population? Now, despite this, the NFL has only 1% of its players of Latino descent. So why does the NFL hate Latinos so much? I don't have those answers. But if you know me, you know that the most important thing to me is diversity. And that's why today I will be bringing a Super Bowl to Mexico. I'll be starting this rebuild as the Green Bay Packers and relocating to Mexico City. But before we can do any of that, we need to have a fantasy draft. Now, the question you're asking is, what players will we be putting on Mexico's team? There are three Latino studs in the NFL right now. Chris Olave, Isaiah Pacheco, and Malcolm Rodriguez. So I'd like to get all three of them, but there's a whole lot more players we need. I looked up the 10 best-selling jerseys in Mexico's NFL shop, and you will be shocked at some of these players. The number one best-selling jersey is Tom Brady. He's not in the game. Number two is George Kittle. Number three is Patrick Mahomes. Number four is Josh Allen. Number five is Aaron Rodgers. Number six is Nick Bosa. Number seven is TJ Watt. And I bet that absolutely none of you can guess number eight. The number eight best-selling jersey in the NFL shop in Mexico is Mac Jones. I am serious, it is Mac Jones. Regardless, we certainly have some targets in this draft. Let's see where we're picking from. Oh my God. <gasps> Round one, pick two. So we won't have an opportunity at Patrick Mahomes because he was the first selection. The next best-selling jersey after Patrick Mahomes is Josh Allen. So we gotta go Josh Allen here. The improviser QB from Wyoming, 92 overall superstar X Factor. Josh Allen, that's an excellent way to start a rebuild. That means our next pick is round two, pick 31. We're way down the list now. Chris Olave is still available. We might as well pick him up right now. It's a bit of a reach, but this is Mexico's team. I definitely expect Pacheco to be available later, so let's pick up anything else. I'm gonna grab 95 overall Chris Jones. He's so unbelievably good. He's a little old, that's my only concern. Next up, I'm gonna take Kyle Hamilton. He's not Latino, but he kind of looks like he might be. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about Christian Gonzalez. He's definitely Latino. A little bit of a reach, but he's an 80 overall. He's 6'2", and he's hidden dev. He's gonna develop like a monster. I don't mind that pick at all. Hopefully, Pacheco is still available. He is. This is gonna be a... No, let's not reach. Actually, fine. I'm gonna reach here for Pacheco just to secure him on the team. And actually, it's not a reach. The game loves that pick. Only guy we're missing is Malcolm Rodriguez, and I'm pretty sure he's trash, so we could get him super late if we want. Micah Hyde is old, but he's 89 overall free safety. I'm taking him right now. We got good safeties. I do need a tight end. Let's go Dalton Schultz. Bit of a reach, but we'll take him. I'm going to take Logan Wilson right outside linebacker. I'm going to take 22-year-old Charles Cross for the offensive line. Bit of a reach, but he's 80 overall. He's so young. I'll be happy to have him. Josh Allen will be happy too that I invested. Also going to snag Jack Campbell of the Detroit Lions. I love Jack Campbell. I try to get him in a lot of franchises. He develops really nice. We'll grab another young wide receiver. I'm gonna go Nico Collins here. 24 years old. He's only normal dev. I thought he'd be higher, but still nice. And our final Latino, Malcolm Rodriguez. 24 years old, 71 overall. Massive reach, but we don't care. We are openly discriminating, and that's okay. Mexico's offense. We got Josh Allen, Isaiah Pacheco, Chris Olave. Very solid offensive line. We got Lindsley, Charles Cross, Will Fries. Fisher and Howard are kind of trash, so maybe we can improve prove that in the draft. Dalton Schultz at tight end. Nico Collins at wide receiver. DJ Chark is the backup. Could definitely beef up the wide receivers, but Olave will progress nicely. Got two rookies on defense. Christian Gonzalez and Jack Campbell. Hoping both of those guys have a great year. We got Romeo Aquara, Chris Jones, Dietrich Wise, Logan Wilson, Micah Hyde, Kyle Hamilton, Caleb Farley. I like this defense a lot. I think we got good linebackers for a 4-3. We go Logan Wilson, Malcolm Rodriguez, Jack Campbell down the middle, and then I'll need two D tackles for that, but Chris Jones is so good. I think it's okay. Before we do anything though, boys, we got to relocate. 
The Green Bay Packers sell the organization to a very rich, very handsome Mexican man living in the heart of Mexico City. The market is huge. The personality is hardcore. We're bringing the NFL to Mexico and we're changing. We're changing everything. Now, which one of these uniforms and teams speaks to Mexico? I'm going to say the Antlers is probably a no. Aviators, Bisons, Black Knights, Blues, Bulls, Caps, no. Condors? Come on, baby. You know Mexico's squad has got to be the Desperados. Outlaws can carry the spirit of the Wild West anywhere. We're going with the futuristic stadium. Mexico City, Mexico's got the Desperados. Now let's talk about our team schemes for the season. We're going to run a 4-3 cover 3 defensive scheme. We're going to use New Orleans Saints defensive playbook for that 4-3. Offensively, we're going to run Kansas City Andy Reid and the West Coast Power Run. Super dominant offense. So now that we're in a 4-3 scheme, we have four defensive linemen and three linebackers. That means all of our edge pressure is going to come from our right and left end. And honestly, our right and left end aren't great. Logan Wilson is really good, but Logan Wilson is a pass coverage linebacker. Jack Campbell's in the interior, and Malcolm Rodriguez is right here. What we need to look for in the upcoming drafts or a potential trade is a dominant edge threat, because I don't think Aquara or Dietrich Wise is going to be that guy. Chris Jones is going to hold down the middle. He's a stud, and our corners are a little weak as well. Caleb Farley has potential. Kyle Hamilton is a dog, and so is Micah Hyde. So our skies are protected. I like our backers. We'll just have to see. Offensively, Josh Allen is going to lift these guys up like crazy. I think Olave is going to have some crazy yards. I think Dalton Schultz has a chance to become a superstar, maybe superstar X Factor. Nico Collins as well. I'm going to leave Chris Olave as my wide receiver one, and my slot wide receiver is going to be Nico Collins. I think we could easily get Nico Collins up to a star dev. We're in the NFC North technically, so we'll take on the Lions, Vikings, and Bears twice a year. Let's play ball, boys. At midseason, the Desperados are doing something right. We do have some steep competition in the NFC North, though. The Vikings are 5-2, and two, but we're 5-1. and one. Before we get too deep into this season, though, I do want to make a midseason trade. The number one selling jersey of a player that we can actually get is George Kittle. So let's go see if we can pick up George Kittle. It's going to cost an arm and a leg, but we are running Chiefs offense, so this is like the best guy to have. There he is. The Steelers have Kittle. He's a 97 overall superstar X Factor. This is going to cost a lot. We'll start with Dalton Schultz and maybe a second and a third. Let's just start with a second. Not quite. We do have two second round picks. Maybe? Not quite. All right, trade overview. We give up Dalton Schultz every second round pick in Mexico City and a first round two years from now. And in exchange, we get George Kittle. 97 overall, superstar X-Factor tight end is now a Desperado. I have no regrets, boys. We're five and one. I might get the Super Bowl first season. I've still never done it, but I don't hate our odds right now at five and one. Oh my goodness, dude. Our team is nasty. We have an 89 offense and 85 defense and we're an 87 overall in year one. We went 13 and four. We must have gone off. I think we just led the league. Did we get MVP year one? Oh my God. I've never done that before. Josh Allen in his very first season as a Desperado is league MVP. Offensive player of the year for the NFC is also Josh Allen. Dude, the commanders have the top two defensive players of the years. They have Quinnen Williams and Micah Parsons. Dang. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Tank Dell. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Christian Gonzalez, comes in second to Will Anderson. That's a bummer. I was hoping to get that. Isaiah Pacheco is the third best running back in the NFC, so he must have had a good season. So Josh Allen, 38-4 and four with 4,500 passing yards. That is amazing. Pacheco at 1,200 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns. Damn. Receiving, Olave with 1,009. Nico Collins with 1,011. So that's a nice distribution. And George Kittle, this is insane. George Kittle just halfway through the season. 916 yards, 12 touchdowns. DJ Chark even had 800 yards and two touchdowns. So defensively, our best guy was Logan Wilson, 122 tackles, eight TFLs and two interceptions. Two interceptions for Kyle Hamilton and two interceptions for Christian Gonzalez. Sacks leaders. We had five out of Chris Jones, four out of Romeo Aquara, two and a half out of Dietrich Wise. I'd say if we don't win the Super Bowl this year, if we don't make a deep playoff push, it's really just our edge threats that are holding us back because that's kind of pitiful. If you're running a 4-3 and the majority of your sacks came from from your D tackle. I know that Chris Jones is really, really good, but gosh, if you had like a Miles Garrett or Nick Bosa out there, that is 
an 11, 12 sack season. So we'll definitely take a look into upgrading that. For now, we're 13 and four. We're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Their best player is Tua at a 95 overall. Jonathan Taylor, Jeffrey Simmons, Chase Young. So very nice D-line. They got Asante Samuel, Tyler Lockett, James Bradbury. I'm not too concerned. That D-line scares me a little bit, but I think this could be a nice opening wild card game for us. I will play a few snaps on offense and a few snaps on defense just because I want to see how this team performs. Our away unis are crisp. Our alternates are crisp. Dude, I'm about to do a franchise as the Desperados. I like this team a lot. First and 10. Looks like maybe a run to Jonathan Taylor. It is. Handoff up the middle. Clawed, sort of. Kyle Hamilton comes in, lays the hammer. Second and six. Let's see what Jack Campbell's made of here, yeah? Ooh, another handoff, and that's bottled up by who else? Malcolm Rodriguez. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, man. I think Mexicans might be a top two race. I guess I don't know who's top one, but Mexicans are in the top two. Fourth and 16, Chris Jones with a sack right there. That's a punt from the Niners? Where are we gonna go to out the gates? Let's find Isaiah Pacheco guarded by a linebacker. Come on, baby. Josh Allen does have hot route master, so we can get some crazy routes here. Ooh, George Kittle on the post route. Nice catch. Let's see how Mexico's O-line holds up. Nice blocking. And look at George Kittle. They always... Oh, a fumble out of Pacheco, but recovered by an offensive lineman. Pacheco. It's too early for that, sir. Oh, don't you just love to see that, boys? George Kittle in man coverage with a DB on him. We're throwing this to George Kittle and I don't care how guarded he is. George Kittle's got it. A big stiff arm. If I had one more yard of field, that's a touchdown. Dude, I think they're manned up on George Kittle once again. When are they gonna learn? Whip route, George Kittle. That's why we traded three second rounders, a first rounder and Dalton Schultz for that right there. That is all the input I can have though. It's time to see if the Desperados without my help can hang on. Seven to zero, San Fran gets a field goal. San Fran gets a touchdown. Desperados return with a touchdown. It's 14 to 13 at half. San Fran, Desperados score, it's 21. Oh boy, 21 to 21 in the wild card. Two minute warning, San Fran's approaching the red zone. So the Desperados got to make a big, big stop if we want to hang on here. But honestly, the fact that we're 13 and four with a lot of young players and a lot of developing players, even if we don't make it through this, I'm very, very happy about the trajectory of this team. This team is nasty. Tua is in gun split close. He's got a running back on either side of him. Hand off to the right side. He's got a lot of room. That was a huge tackle by Christian Gonzalez. Here comes the kicker to make this 24 to 21. It looks like he drills it. He does. And in the wild card, it's 24 to 21. The Desperados will get the ball with a minute 11 on the clock and two timeouts to use. They could kick the field goal and send this into OT, or maybe they'll go for it all. Try and win this game right now. Josh Allen, Isaiah Pacheco, Chris Olave, and Nico Collins. And of course, don't forget George Kittle. Let's see what they're made of. Starting this drive out, play action, a laser beam. Got about six yards, but you got to go no huddle. Clock is approaching 50 seconds. Josh Allen drops back, another laser beam to Olave, another five yards. But I don't know, you're not picking up a lot of yards right now if you're the Desperados. You got to go a little deeper. First and 10, Josh Allen, clean, clean pocket. Checks down to Pacheco. I don't know if I like all these check downs, Mexico. All right, well, the clock stops. It's third and three, one timeout left. You got to get in field goal range. You got to go deep. I want to see Josh Allen sling it. He does right over the middle. He's still up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He goes to the end zone. How did he make it through that? The Desperados are going to take a 28 to 24 lead with 15 seconds. Granted, San Fan has three timeouts, but I don't think that's going to be enough to get in the end zone. I've seen crazier things. I also, I think we have a black kicker. So, yeah, I really have seen crazier things. This is the Mexico rebuild. Nine seconds left. Pretty much Hail Mary at this point. He checks down over the middle. Oh, they have their timeouts. Hail Mary formation for the Niners. Five seconds left on the clock. Two is dropping back. He's stepping up. He unloads, but that ball is not even close to deep enough. Yikes. And Santiago Garcia in his first year as head coach of the Mexico City Desperados has a playoff win. Look at this masterclass from Josh Allen. 23 for 31, four touchdowns and one interception. Jonathan Taylor was solid on the ground. Pacheco 13 for 60. 
25. Christian Watson had 150 yards receiving, but Kittle had eight receptions, 125 and two. Nico Collins, 611 and two. That's a crazy game. We got some big upgrades too. Nico Collins is looking at an upgrade himself. I like it, Biko. I'm gonna give him the playmaker upgrade. That tends to give you some nice stuff here, even though he's a slot wide receiver. He gets ball carry vision, break tackle, deep route, juke short and spin. Nice work, Nico Collins. That's a dub in the wild card. We head on to the divisional. Who are we taking on here? Wow. It's an NFC North matchup. Remember when I said the Vikings were tough? Well, we're taking them on in the divisional playoffs. This is a rivalry game too. Vikings have Jalen Hurts, Travis Etienne, Antoine Winfield, Jalen Johnson, Jordan Mailata, Garrett Wilson. Wow. Very good. Very young team. They're going to be a threat for years to come. Now we have the same record, but it looks like the Vikings probably beat us in head-to-head -head matchups because they have the home field advantage here. This game starts out with a Vikings touchdown returned by a Desperados touchdown. Vikings field goal, Desperados field goal, Vikings touchdown. And we get stuffed, put a touchdown there. 17 to 7, 24-17, 24-24. It's first and 10. We're in red zone territory. No way we win the bowl in the first year. What do you got, Josh Allen? Josh Allen <gasps> stiff arms the blitzer and almost throws a pick. What are you made of, Josh Allen? What are you made of? Second and 10, he laser beams one. It's not Nico Collins. Who was that? Was that DJ Chark? Third and one, Josh Allen is getting amped. Is this a handoff to Pacheco? It's not, but he could check it down to Pacheco. He checks it down to DJ Chark again on a hitch, but good defense makes his fourth and one. They're going to kick the field goal. I think this is too conservative of a decision. I don't agree with this. The Mexico City Desperados, they hit the field goal. They go up 24-21, but there's two minutes, five seconds left. I don't know how I feel about that decision. Vikings have all three timeouts. The two-minute warning is not hit yet, so they got a lot going for them here. Check down there. That one's in bounds. Two-minute warning. Third and seven, though. Wait a minute. Desperados going to stop here. They might even punt it. Let's find out. Chris Jones, you got to get home. Chris Jones got off his block. Jalen Hurts is taking off. <gasps> He's too fast. He's so fast. I thought we were going to snag him. First and 10, Jalen Hurts dropping back. Oh, he might be sacked this time. He is. The backup D tackle, Tonga, gets home. It's third and 13 of 51 seconds left. This could be such a massive stop. Can somebody get home? No, Jalen Hurts is flushed out. He's going to take off again. Don't let him. He throws it out. Yes. Christian Gonzalez steps up. You're fine. It's just a legal. Oh, fourth and 13. Unloads. Swatted down. Did the Desperados just win? The Vikings have two timeouts. No, they won. This is victory formation. We beat our rivals. That was a close game. We're headed to the NFC chip. We're taking on the Philadelphia Eagles and we have home field advantage this time around. They're 11 and six. They've got Devontae Adams as their best player. Darius Slay, Christian Darisaw, Von Miller. I am shocked that this team made it to the NFC championship. I'm not gonna lie. Nice defensive line. Who's the quarterback? Derek Carr? Hey. Shit. I shouldn't say that. I might just lose right here now. Let's take on the Eagles, boys. Eagles score on their opening drive. We turn the ball over and the Eagles get a field goal. Maybe this Eagles team is better than I'm giving them credit for. We respond with a touchdown. Eagles a field goal. Desperados another touchdown. We have the lead. 14 to 20, 21 to 20, 21 to 28. I gotta watch in now because we're about to score. That's the end of the third quarter. It's 21 to 28. Damn, this Eagles team is legit. Derek Carr is slinging it, dude. Dude, we're down seven right now. We're in the red zone, third and one. You just got to hand this off to Pacheco, right? Just reset the downs. Go grab the first. No, we're still passing. Well, I said Pacheco. He goes Pacheco. Nice catch, Pacheco. Eagles are in a goal line set. We're passing. Allen, end zone. Dropped. Second and goal here. Another laser beam. And guess who? Ooh, I think George Kittle was an amazing decision by us. We gave up a lot for him, but wow, has he been a monster this season. Let's make that 28 to 28. The Eagles marched in a touchdown. It's 35 to 28. We have one timeout left and the clock is ticking. Snap that damn ball, Josh. Josh to Kittle. This Eagles team can't be stopped, dude. Or maybe we just got to beef up our defense. Hey, this game ain't over. Who else but Nico Collins? There's our final timeout. It's first and 10. We're five wide. You cannot catch the ball in bounds. You cannot be sacked or this game is over. First and 10, 12 seconds. Allen unloads deep. Caught. And the Mexico City Desperados. Do we go for two? Oh my God, it's Nico Collins. He's insane. I can't believe he's been so good. He's been better than Olave. We're, we're, oh my God, I thought we might go for two. We're kicking it. We're going into overtime. Wait, Sirianni's icing him. Oh my God, we're going for two. Oh my God. 
Two point conversion. 34 to 35. RPO bottled. What a fucking play. GG's to Derek Carr and the Philadelphia Eagles. 35 to 34. My hopes of getting a season one Super Bowl are extinguished, sadly. But damn, that was a good season. Hey, we definitely got some new fans in Mexico now. Because if you don't love that, then you just don't love football. Josh Allen had an amazing game, but one interception was the difference. Derek Carr had zero, never turned the ball over, 88% completion. Now I'm not ever talking shit about Derek Carr and Madden again. Oh my God. Since this is a fantasy draft, there are no players in free agency in that first year. So we just head straight to the draft. My goal is to draft a Latino player. Obviously, they don't actually tell you the players' ethnicities, but... You can kind of tell by how they look. There are some really good edge rushers up at the top of the board. I'm going to see if I can trade up for the Rams pick. I want round one pick six. I'd be willing to give up round one pick 29, round two pick 61, round four pick 125. Wow. I really didn't think that was an overpay. I just traded up 23 spots in the first round. It cost me my first rounder, my deep second rounder, and my deep fourth rounder. That might've been an overpay, but it felt like a great trade. We're gonna get round one pick six now. Holy shit, Mexico City with the fleece. That feels like a fleece to me. Our pick is round one pick six. Noah Rivers just went. He was one of those edge rushers we're looking at, but there's one more. Oh my goodness, wait a minute. I am completely mistaken. There was not one more. That was the last one. Now I have to trade away the pick. I just traded for this pick to trade it away yo the bills would give me two first rounders for this maybe i just did an ultimate galaxy brain fleece they'd give me a first rounder this year a deep one just like what i just had and then a first rounder next year and a second rounder next year the browns would do the same damn thing oh my god i'm trading with the bills i'm taking this i don't know if i fleece i actually i think i'm an idiot you guys but who cares uh i <laughs> <laughs> Larry Whitlock is a right end with elite strength. He's definitely not Mexican, but I need an edge rusher. He's a run stopper, but he has really good block shed, good tackle. I don't know. If he's hidden dev, damn, that's a bummer. And my next pick is not to round five. So this was a yucky draft for me. I did not ball out on that draft. The good news is we're a good team and we don't really need Larry, but that does make me sad. Especially because I traded up to get an elite edge rusher and I missed all of them. All right, let's take a look at the draft recap. Larry Whitlock, are you dog shit? You're kind of dog shit. You're 72 overall. The best player in the class was Matthew Warner. Next best was Damian Ellis. Well, 83 overall round one pick one. I was trying to get my hands on Gay Winslow, who was taken third. He's a 79 overall. Yeah, I would have had to trade it up to pick three, though. I traded up to pick six. The player taken with pick six was Willie Mills, this quarterback right here. Dude's kind of nasty. Noah Rivers was the edge rusher I was going to be able to take, but he was taken right before me, and he's a 75 overall. He's actually really good. A second round pick could almost get us George Carlaft. Let's throw in a 2027 fifth rounder, and that should seal the deal. Boom. We didn't even cost us a first rounder we get george carlaftis it's a really nice upgrade now it makes larry whitlock kind of useless what i can do though is larry whitlock is a big boy he's probably a decent d tackle i could probably put him at backup d tackle he is yo he's a 75 overall at d tackle he was built to be a d tackle you know when we're running a 4-3 you have two d tackles in so he'll definitely get some reps there my new rush right end then is george carlaftis and my new starting left end is george carlaftis beautiful all right headed into year two let's take a look at the Mexico City Desperados. Isaiah Pacheco gets superstar that quick. Josh Allen's almost a 99. Nico Collins gets that dev trade upgrade that we were looking for. Olave's an 89. DJ Chark's just hanging out at a 77. Offensive line still looks okay. Definitely would like to get a right tackle on this team. Defensively, Ojolari and Karlaftis are star. Rodriguez, Logan Wilson, and Campbell are star. Micah Hyde has regressed to star. Hamilton gets superstar and Christian Gonzalez does not get a dev trade upgrade, but he's unlocked. He's an 85 overall. He's a really good defense. Very well-rounded team. We get a right tackle in there. Maybe another elite wide receiver? Mid-season a year two. Let's head there and see how this team's looking. Dude, this team is so dominant. Six and one at mid-season. We're not top three in passing yards, though. It's Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, and Bryce Young. Chris Jones is third in the league in sacks, though. Let's advance this to the playoffs. Looks like we're certainly gonna go. Ooh! Okay, so we started out the season very hot, and we kind of tapered off. Now we're 11-6, and six, taking on the Chicago Bears. They're in 88, we're in 89, we're still offensive top-heavy. And look at this, our Week 18 game was against the Bears, and we lost 27-24. to 24.
Hmm. We're also tied at the top of the NFC North, and they get home field. Damn. All right. Let's take a look around the league. Josh Allen is third in the NFL in passing yards this season. He won MVP. Oh, that's why. 28 and one. Josh Allen. Wow, that is not Josh Allen-esque. He is taking care of the rock. Damn. Pacheco with a monster season. 1,319 touchdowns. Kittle with 12, 53, and 6. Biko Collins, 1,068 and 11. By having Nico Collins at slot, we are wasting Olave a little bit. Because he's got 9, 11, and 5. When realistically, Olave is the better wide receiver. So maybe I switch this around. I just like Nico Collins. He's huge. He's 6'4". And he had a great first season. Even DJ Chark kind of balled out. 893 and 5. I love seeing defense, though. Defense is what gets me amped. Logan Wilson with 114, two sacks and interception, three interceptions, and a sack Kyle Hamilton. He did everything. He even had a force fumble. Three interceptions, Christian Gonzalez. He continues to impress. One for Farley, one for Micah Hyde, one for Jack Campbell. And our sack numbers went up big time. Chris Jones, 11 and a half. Karlaftis had five. That could definitely be better, but I'll still take it. Three and a half for Larry Whitlock. D-tackle to Larry Whitlock. It ended up actually being a really good pick by moving him to D-tackle two. So we didn't waste that pick and we made an excellent trade for Karlaftis and we retain our first rounder and the Bills first rounder in this upcoming draft. I actually could make a really big trade having two first rounders to trade away. All right, wild card playoff. I'm not gonna watch this game since we just lost to them. I'm just gonna sim it. But if we win and go to the divisional, I'll, I'll tune in. We, oh my God, that's actually so funny. We beat the Bears by the exact same score that they beat us by we were on the losing end of 27 to 24 now we're on the winning end of 27 to 24 and we'll be taking on the 12 and 5 falcons falcons got mahomes tony pollard joey bosa rashawn gary tyler linderbaum puka nakua ever since puka nakua got the update and he's a superstar i see him on a lot of successful franchises maybe he's the secret sauce let's go desperados let's see what we're made of it's zero to zero. Desperado's on the board first. Desperado on the board second. Desperado's on the board. Oh, this is a waxing. Ooh, I'm not gonna watch it. We're shitting on them. 24 to 10, wait a minute. 27 to 17. Wait a minute, dude. 27 to 24. Oh, but we're in victory formation. Wow. The Falcons almost made a historic comeback in the playoffs. That's a sentence you'll never hear again. We're headed back to the NFC Championship. This is where we lost last time. 99 overall George Kittle has an upgrade. So we can give him vertical threat. He's now a 99 vertical threat and 99 possession. Look at this upgrade. He got plus one speed. Ooh, he got plus one speed. George Kittle now with 89 speed. Damn. Also got to remember to put your abilities on your boys. And we're 11 and six taking on the 11 and six New Orleans Saints in the NFC Championship. We have a two overall advantage. Wait a minute. Saints got Jamar and Tristan Wirfs, 299s. They got Justin Simmons, Witherspoon, T-Law, Ramchick. Brian Robinson's an 87. And they got Cam Jordan. I like this team. I do. Seven to seven to start this game. New Orleans scores. Desperado score. New Orleans scores. Oh my God. 21, 20. Nobody has stopped anybody on defense until right then. They stopped us 28 to 28. Saints score. We look like we might score. No, this is just like our last NFC championship. 28 to 35. And we're down in the red zone trying to score. If we go for two this down, we better get it. First and 10. Josh Allen. Clean pocket. Laser. Caught. Ooh, and a little more. Josh Allen has 314 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He has been so unbelievably good. Allen fakes the handoff to Pacheco. Lasers over the middle. Is that our backup tight end? Mo Ali Cox, the backup tight end. And we will kick this PAT. It's going to come down to if we can stop the Saints or not. We haven't stopped them on a single drive yet. 35 to 35. We have a chance to stop here, though. It's third and 10. I assume they would go for it, but do we get the stop? A lot of heat. A lot of pressure. Down goes T-Law. That was George Karlaftis who got home. And they are going to punt this. Oh my God, they're going to punt this. I think we took him out of field goal range or out of go for it range. It's going to fake the fair catch. Let it bounce through. We'll take over at the 20. Wow. 21 seconds left. The Desperados have one timeout left. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. They just got to get field goal range. Laser. There's a flag. Is that DPI? Oh my God, Carl Granderson, DPI. We accept the penalty, but we're still not in field goal range, but we do get to save our timeout. That stops the clock for us, where otherwise that, that ball is live. So that's a huge play for us. Josh Allen's gonna throw over the middle, questionable. You're gonna call a timeout, right? You're gonna call a timeout, right? Dude, I thought he wasn't gonna do it. I was gonna say, Garcia, talk to me, buddy. The kicker is iced. 
35 to 35. There is a 51 yard field goal to determine if we go home. I don't even know who our kicker is. I don't even know who our kicker is. This is for Mexico. Yeah, baby. Game winner in the NFC Championship. Talk to me. Who was it that kicked that? Josh Allen, 31 for... Look at the quarterback duel. Five out of Josh, four out of T-Law. No interceptions. Pacheco's 10 for 34. Pretty weak game right there. Receiving Olave, 9 for 101. Jamar had a monster game, but so did Miko with two and Kittle with two. Defensively, Gonzo and Logan were great. No interceptions to speak of. A sack for Karlaftis. Nothing out of Chris Jones. He was quiet today. Big Cock McManus. 11 years in the league out of Temple. Just decided to clutch up for the boys. He's now a legend in the Latino community. He's welcome to the cookout. Or no, that's black people. He's welcome to the... He's invited to the quinceanera. I don't know a lot of Mexican people. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. 38 to 35. Mexico is headed to the bowl, baby. Damn. We're taking on the Houston Texans, who are 14 and 3. They've got Nick Bosa. Yearly awards. Josh Allen gets MVP. Congratulations. Texans roster 299s in Nick Bosa and Travis Kelsey. Traverius Ward, Austin Eckler, Ed Oliver, Montez Sweat. Damn. Anthony Richardson's the quarterback, and he's a 90 overall. Ridley, AJ Cole. He doesn't have any abilities, though, so that's good. All right, boys. It all comes down to this. Can we win the big game in the second year? We do have an overall advantage, and we've got a player advantage. We got three X Factors up there. Josh Allen, George Kittle, Chris Jones. He's got Ed Oliver as his only X Factor, which I don't know how Ed Oliver did that. But then he's got Bosa and Kelsey, who are both just superstars. So they actually regressed down to superstar. Let's start this out. Kyle Hamilton. You see that? Kyle Hamilton is an X Factor. He must have just gotten it. <laughs> he starts out with a huge hit on Austin Eckler. Let's blitz Rodriguez, blitz Logan Wilson, and I'll hover the middle with Jack Campbell. Don't you dare run that ball again. Checks down low. Nice tackle. Kyle Hamilton is everywhere. I'm going to go on Emrod here. It's going to motion out Eckler. Definitely a pass. Let's see what Richardson's got. Third and six. Like, big play right here. Chris Jones and Leonard Whitlock at home right there. And that is a punt to start out the Super Bowl. Beautiful. Who's our return man, I wonder? It's DJ Chark. DJ Chark's going to take this ball out. We'll start this drive at the 27. Why don't we start with just a big boy if you see george kittle in single coverage you better throw that ball baby there's george kittle single coverage caught kittle kittle keep going kittle end zone first play of the super bowl is a one play touchdown and i'm gonna go for two because the feds can't stop me we got mo alley cox fullback we got pacheco who's just gonna walk this in Oh my goodness, this team is so nasty. I love this team. All right, that's all the input I can have. That was already a lot of input. Let's head it to the end of the game. We just got a stop and a touchdown and a field goal and another touchdown. Don't tell me this is the biggest blowout I've ever had. 28 to zero, 28 to seven, 28 to 14. We just shit on the Texans. Oh my God. 28 to 14, second and 10. Let's see what Anthony Richardson's gonna do on this final drive. Easy check down. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That's probably not the throw in the Super Bowl when you're down by 14, but you know what? Do your thing. Play action. Richardson unloads. Can't hang on to it on the boundary. That was a nice ball. He just couldn't catch it. Fourth and eight. Super Bowl is over if we grab this right here. This is one of my favorite rebuild teams I've ever done. No question. Ooh, damn. Nice ball. Nice catch. I mean, technically, if they scored right now and then got onside, it's possible. And... I was so confused. That was an interception. Nothing better than seeing victory formation. Josh Allen's going to nail this one, and we're going to be Super Bowl champs. First year, we get booted in the NFC chips. Second year, we go all the way to the bowl and take that puppy home. Let's go. El, you are so good. Also, I just won the Super Bowl as Mexico. Yeah, come here. You're Mexican. Come here. I have a Latino girlfriend, guys. I'm not racist. I'm not racist. You ain't the same race as me, boy. You're Irish. Irish, these dick was in your ass. <laughs> How was that? Was that it pretty good? That wasn't Dude, the Mexico City Desperados just got a bowl in the second year. Can I play? There's nothing to play. <laughs> she wants to play so bad. There's nothing to play. This is actually, like, you actually don't play. You just watch them play. It's hard to describe. This is, like, full-blown nerd shit. But it's a fucking W game. Josh Allen, Masterclass, 21 for 25. Two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. Richardson was good, but he threw two interceptions. One of them was pitiful. Pacheco, 16 for 56. Three and a half yards per carry is mid. But Austin Eckler, damn. Fantasy monster. Pacheco, 6 for 38. 
through the air. Chark was my leading wide receiver. That's crazy. Oh, no, he wasn't. Olave had 51. Kittle had 96. Okay, I'm just a liar. 51 touchdowns? Ah, uh, no. Not 51 touchdowns. 51 receiving to? yards. Oh. You think he had 51 touchdowns in the Super Bowl? No, but the whole season, I thought you were talking If about. I could get a player to have 51 touchdowns in a season, Al, it would be the coolest video I've ever made. Okay, why don't you do that? You heard it here first, guys. I need to do that now. <laughs> it's my bad. I think that'd be Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go, boys. Super Bowl champs in the second year. Now, I'm not going to end the rebuild. I do want to sim up to the draft, though. Honestly, like, we might as well just see what we can do to add to this team. And then let's sim 10 years in the future and see if this team just coasts its way to a few more Super Bowls. Because we've clearly put them in a good position. You got a 99 overall X-Factor quarterback. You got a 97 superstar young running back. You got two young stud wide receivers. DJ Chark's getting old, so you might want to get another receiver in there. You definitely want to get a right tackle in here. George Kittle, obviously amazing. And then defensively, yeah, Chris Jones may retire soon, so you might want to get some value out of him. We lost our free safety right now our starting free safety is Demonte Casey so like to replace him too Aziz Ojolari Karlaftis are young and studs Jack Campbell's young and a stud Malcolm Rodriguez walked in free agency what is wrong with you bro you're literally Latino we're in Mexico where do you want to go I bet you we went to the Rams bro wow what a traitor all right let's draft this is an easy pick we badly need a free safety we got Laren Bowles great jumping great agility hidden dev fuck dude I cannot draft in this, but it doesn't matter. My fantasy draft was so good that my actual draft doesn't matter. So that was our pick that we got from the Bills. So now this is our pick. I actually want a corner as well. Free safety in a corner, bolster the defense. Dude, that Super Bowl was sick, but we let up a lot of points in the NFC Championship. We let up 35. Let's take Jerry, dude. I actually cannot draft a hidden dev today. 96 change of direction, 91 speed, 90 excel. He looks like he'd be hidden dev. My third pick, I'm going to take this NC statewide receiver. He's got elite acceleration, great speed. There's a chance this guy's a dog. Dude's got 98 acceleration. He looks like Adrian Peterson. He's got 93 speed and he's not hidden dev. I will say, boys, if you forget to turn off dev trait regression, the game will like set a limit of how many of certain dev traits can exist. So sometimes when you get to like the third year, like I'm in, there's like no hidden dev players. And I think that's what's happening right now. Because I had regression on the moment of truth. The draft recap. Damn. Dude, these guys are like, see what I mean? These should be hidden devs. Because I just drafted a 74 overall at the bottom of the first and a 75 at the true bottom of the first. Still very good draft picks. And it's going to continue to put this team in a very good position to win games in the future. McIntosh is trash. He has 55 awareness, but he's fast as hell. 93 speed, 98 excel. Maybe they find a use for him. Let's take a look at the entire NFL. This is normal, normal strength draft classes. He had the best was a 78 to 78. This is a very weak class overall. I'm happy with our picks though. All right, boys, we have set our team up for so much success. Let's see if that actually holds up. We've got 85 million cap space, so we can pay a lot of these guys, at least when they become studs. I'm gonna sim super far in the future and we'll check back in, see if we want any more rings. All right, the year is 2033. We're still a 91 overall. Let's look at what the roster looks like. We have a new quarterback and his name is James Pemberton, straight out of a Hallmark movie. We have a superstar X-Factor receiver on the bench. I'm gonna do the team a solid and just move him up the depth chart. What are we doing? Oh, Oh, no, he's a tight end. I'm kidding. I lied. He's a tight end. So we have a superstar X-Factor tight end. We have a superstar X-Factor quarterback. We still have Charles Cross, but I don't recognize anybody else on this team. Okay, our defense is intact. There's Bowles. We ended up getting Devin Witherspoon. We've got Kyle Hamilton still, Gonzalez still, Karlaftis still, and that's it. Damn, the whole offense is gone. So we won our Super Bowl in 2024. Caleb Farley was the Super Bowl MVP. Okay. In 2025, it was Vikings Chiefs. In 26, the Offensive Player of the Year was Isaiah Pacheco, but the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. In 27, the Bears won the Super Bowl, beating the Dolphins. In 28, the Dolphins win, beating the Falcons. Josh Allen wins his third MVP, but we are not back in the Super Bowl. In 29, Pacheco wins Offensive Player of the Year again, but we still haven't won anything. 2030, we haven't won anything. And finally, 2031, we still haven't won anything. Damn. Wow, we were really a one-hit wonder. We could not win anything else. I thought for sure we were going to be a dynasty, dude. The Chiefs went to the Super Bowl two times in that span. The Bills went a bunch. Texans went a bunch. Vikings went a bunch. All right, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mexico rebuild. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.